do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Product Phoenix Media. So we're going to do a really quick tutorial today. It's going to be showcasing free DVD boot, assuming you have a copy that works on your PS2 Slim. And we're going to install Fortuna Project today. And we're also going to install OPL. And we're going to showcase an example of running a USB game using OPL. So let's do this. So let's go ahead, turn on the PS2. If you guys are curious, I have a Slim 9001. Uh, DVD player version 3.11U. I am using the 3.11 All Regions ISO disc DVD Plus R, and that is what works for my console here. Um, if everything is working correctly, it should boot the disc like a DVD video and go straight into Ulaunch Elf like it is showcasing here right now. So, what we're going to do is this is my memory card. You can see that I already have some files here already set up. Let me showcase how did I do that real quick here. So basically what I did was in the video description, I'll have a link to where you can get the Fortuna project files and also the latest OPL. But basically on my USB thumb drive, FAT32 formatted, I extracted all these files here. So I have this Fortuna folder and I have this sys-com folder. And then also what I also have is I have a boot folder. Inside this boot folder, I have this boot.elf and I have the latest OPL. So what you could do here is I can say X, X, X on these three folders, R1, copy, and then you can go to your memory card, MC0, R1, paste. Sure, I'll overwrite everything. So what's happening here is we're copying over for two in a uh, folder. That's pretty important. It's going to have a 2044 date. That's what we want. Timestamp is what they call it. Sys-conf, that's another folder. I like to have that because if you make any changes with the Ulaunch Elf, shortcuts, whatever, it will not change the timestamp of the Fortuna project folder. So that's good for us. It's not going to break your um, your mod. Otherwise, you have to go back and do this all over again. So we're saving ourselves some headaches. The boot folder, I like to have the boot folder because there's some homebrew where it asks you, please navigate to your boot.elf. So in the boot folder, that's why I have the boot.elf file. And then I just happen to have the OPL. That's where I like to keep it within that boot folder. So once that is done, let's go ahead into boot folder and run OPL. If everything is working correctly, it should boot into OPL. Um, the first time you run it, it might show like a settings screen. It doesn't do that here because I already set up for USB. So let me show you my settings real quick here. Right, press start, go to settings. I have USB device start mode as auto. I have this down here, default menu as USB games. And then if you have cover art, go ahead and enable the cover art and then go to OK and then save all that stuff, right? And then here you go, you have your games, and then um, select your games and you're ready to play, right? Um, if you're curious on how to add USB games, format your USB to um, play PS2 games properly, I have a dedicated tutorial on that process. It's pretty long, but it should get you in the right direction. So how do you load Fortuna Project if you guys are not aware already? So let's say that I'm gonna turn off the PS2, right? I am going to take out the disc. I don't need the free DVD boot disc anymore. We're just using it initially to help us install the Fortuna project files to the memory card, right? So let's say you power down your PS2, you turn your PS2 back on. The beauty of Fortuna project, it works with all PS2s, fat and slims. Of course, the fat models, they don't have a free DVD boot solution at the time of this uh, video recording today. But anyways, let's say you have a slim that's compatible, then you go into your memory card, you press circle, you press circle one more time, it's gonna go back into the ULaunch Elf program. And then from there, you can navigate to, let's say MC0, boot, open PS2 loader, right? And then it's gonna load the program, maybe have it auto load to USB like I do. If you wanna do SMB, by all means, go ahead. We're gonna try a different game today, not Marvel vs. Capcom 2, we're gonna try Gradius 5, game works great. It's actually a CD-based game, so I had to do some interesting stuff with OPL Manager to make CD-based games work with OPL. So if you guys are interested, I may consider a future tutorial on that process. So anyways, we see that the game is loading. I'll try to do some real quick gameplay here, and we should be good to go. So to summarize, what we did in today's tutorial is using free DVD boot, we were able to launch into the disk, go into you launch elf, Assuming that you have a USB thumb drive that has a Fortuna project related files, copy all that stuff over to your memory card. Go ahead, copy and paste, you know, uh, OP, uh, OPL and the boot.elf or whatever 
homebrew that you want to use to your memory card. You don't have to put on your memory card, technically speaking. I suppose you could also run your ELF files from USB, but I like to have everything consolidated on the memory card. And yes, you can have the ELF files on your memory card, and you can also have PS2 save game files on the memory card as well. So that's today's PS2 free DVD boot for Tuner Project OPL tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.